everybody. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. Guess what day it is? It's new Transformer Day and my chair is so squeaky. And that's new Transformer Day. All right. But before that, you know what you need to do. Go down and hit that like, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go hit that sub button for me. I really appreciate that. It really helps out the channel. Uh, hit that little bell. It notifies new content. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. You know it's in the description. It's easy peasy. So let me squeeze it. Also, I got shirts for sale. Yes, they are in the description. Also, follow that link to Teespring. And I have three available. And they're really neat. I really hope you like them. And just order one if you don't mind. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, new shirts. Yay. So like I said, it's new Transformer Day, and I got in today from Pulse. This is the reissue of the Dino uh, cassettes. Uh, I know I'm gonna, you know, probably butcher their names like I always do, and I'm probably, you know, I'm gonna give a little brief history of what these are because I have no idea. I'm not really up to date on these things, uh, but I'm gonna try to give a brief, brief history of these uh, two Dino uh, cassettes and everything. So it's Autobot Giraffe. I think it was called Graffy when they originally call it, and Autobot Noizu, and uh, they, he was called Noise. And you also get Decepticon Frenzy as a little add-on. So there they are right there. Uh, these were in a, like a four, uh, they were sold separately, like in a four dino cassettes were sold separately in little boxes and everything. They're really hard to get. I think there's some of them come up to go up to like $700, man. Jeebus. But uh, we got a reissue of these. These were at the San Diego Comic Con this year, and uh, everybody got all excited and everything because you know finally we get to you know get the reissues of these hard to find uh, cassettes and everything. So yeah, I, I pre-ordered it on Pulse, and uh, they came in today, and I thought, hey, why not just review them? You know, but the packaging looks really cool. Um, I don't really want to open them to be honest. I really would like to display them like this. I am going to open them, but it's really neat. Now the weird thing is on the back. Where Decepticon Frenzy is right here, you got the two dinos over here on the back card. And then, you know, for uh, the dinos, and you got Frenzy. So it's really weird. I don't know why they did that and everything, but and I don't know why they threw in Decepticon Frenzy anyways. We've gotten so many reissues of him, and he's coming out in the Walmart, you know, two-pack also and everything. Why don't they just give us, like, Slugfest or Overkill? That would have been pretty cool. We've, I don't think we've gotten reissues of those. But we may have. Don't quote me on that. I think we may have. But it would have been cool to maybe get Slugfest or something like that. But that's just me. But if you want to read uh, their tech specs, uh, let me see if I get it up right, upside right. Um, pause for the cause right there if you want to read that. Pretty cool news. And then for Frenzy also if you want to pause for the cause and read all that stuff. Everything, so. All right. Well, I don't want to open them, but I am going to. So uh, let me get these out real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got them out of their box, and it really hurt because <laughs> the packaging looked really cool. Uh, but I may order another one. I think they're not so. I don't think they're sold out on Pulse. Uh, and I may get another one. They're like thirty bucks, thirty-five bucks, or something like that. Uh, so I may order another one. Just keep on card and everything. But I just wanted to check them out. So, like I said, I'm gonna give you a brief history of what these guys are because I don't really know a lot about them. So we can learn together. So all right, let's go. Yeah. All right, so we'll start with Giraffe, which is also called Graffy. He is one of the Autobot mini cassettes, the aerial intelligence soldier of the group. He is the calmest among them, a stark contrast to the hyperviolent partner, Noise. Graffy is an impressive flyer with amazing eyesight. Uh, as a member of the W Cassette Bot sub sub group, he also combines with Noise to form the robot Decibel. So this version of Graffy or Giraffe uh, has several notable differences from the original, mainly in the stickering. His tape mold stickers are generally larger, extending all the way to the edges of his, of his parts, which leads to the detailing not lining up properly in tape mode. A new filler sticker has been added under the hole used to attach noise for a decibel uh, mode. Uh, his central body sticker adds a second silver line just above the tape window, despite there being only one line in the connecting wing stickers as uh, the orig original one had. And of course he uses a new vintage G1 style rub sign with a red only symbol and a mirror-like silver border. And to note, uh, his name is a bit of a head scratcher, but given his pairing with noise, it's a possible as derived from a graphic equalizer auto equipment used to adjust individual frequency levels and recorded audio. So there's a little something about graphe or graphy. Now on to uh, Nozu, Nozu, noise. <laughs> 
is one of the Autobot uh, cassette bots, a Force Investigation bot. He is their most violent member, even worse than Ramhorn. Yikes. And his fangs and claws are the strongest out of all of them. Uh, Noise idolizes his fellow dinosaur, Grimlock. As a member of the W Cassette Box sub subgroup, he can combine with his partner, also graphing and form the robot uh, Decibel. This version also has some small but notable differences from the original. Primary is stickering also. His tape mold stickers are generally larger, extending all the way to the edge of those parts. Uh, most of visible, the silver lining of his foot under metal position is extended all the way to the edge. Also, the position sticker is in, is missing the silver lines above the text and tape spool, but adds one to the right of the tape spool that does not resume on the other side. Basically, his tape mode uh, detailing is all sorts of jank janked up. And of course, he also has the new vintage uh, rub sign and uh, the red only symbol and the mirror like silver border for the uh, rub sign. So, that's a little something about noise. All right, so I hope you like that little brief history of what these are and what they came from and everything. So, let's take a look. Not much to say, these are G1 tapes, you know, so very nice. Got the nice stickers, the black and the red. Very nice. And on the back, it's got the little rub sign, and it should work. <laughs> Yeah, so you just heat it up a little bit and it'll show a little Autobot symbol. So that is a uh, giraffe, giraffe, giraffe. I know I'm gonna butcher it. And then this is a uh, noze, nozu, noze, noze, oh, noise. Let's call it noise. But yeah, once again, nicely the stickers and everything. Not bad, you know. See his little head right there, the dino head, and then the back, and. Oh, Frenzy. There he is. Very nice. Back right there. I think these may be, I th I've heard a rumor, I don't know if it's true, this might be like a, a tune version of him. I don't know for sure. I'm just, that's what I've heard sometimes. But uh, Check out his weapons. Here's his uh, nicely chrome weapon. You've already seen those. Here's Noise. Right there. Double blasters. Kind of reminds me of Overkill a little bit. And you got these little... I have no idea what these are. They can go on his wings. A little cross for a uh, grass. It's called grass. So yeah, not much to them. You know, they're just little small G1 reissue tapes. Pretty cool. I just saw some quick comparisons of Legends to show how big they are. There's a Titan Returns classic wheelie right there. Here's a uh, New Age uh, Legends class right there. And then there's a Magic Square right there. So, there's a little size comparisons for those. Graphagonics, Lip Balm, and good old Carmex. Real quickly, they do fit in the G1 Blaster or Soundwave. This is the Toys R Us, Re Toys R Us reissue. So, I had the double, so you can put in two tapes and everything. So, you can put both of those in there. Like I said, these are Autobots, so they won't, you know, sp not supposed to go with him. But, it's pretty cool. They do fit in there. And uh, if you do the regular sound wave and blaster, you can only put one in. So that's pretty cool. They fit in the G1 Transformers. All right, here they are transformed. Pretty neato. We'll take a look at Graffy, Giraffe, Giraffe, real quick. So very nice. Only paint he has is he has a little yellow stripe for his eyes. So that is it for paint on this guy. And then uh, his wings. His head moves up and down. It does kind of extend a little bit too. So you can do the ooh, ooh, ooh. That's pretty cool. So it's got mine's like a little loose too, so it'll fall it's gonna a little floppy around. So his uh wings go up and down like that, and they can move in like that also. So you can have it like that. Or like that. Then you attach a little blaster right there. On there, so that's pretty cool. Got that, then you got the back, it shows all the stickers. Not too much. There's a graphy. And we got noise or no zoo. Pretty cool. Like I said, he does look like overkill. Nice little tail. He does split apart like there like this because these two do combine. They become they become a decimal is the little combiner. You know, like slam dance and uh all those other ones, they do combine. I'll show you the combine mode in a little bit. So he's got red red eyes for paint, that's about it. His head will go up and down. And his neck will also go up and down also. So that's pretty cool. His little his little <laughs> his little T-Rex arms. Little teeny tiny thing. 
they go up and down these can swivel and everything that's pretty cool and the uh, tail can go up and down a little bit and it spreads apart so a little more stability and uh, frenzy not much he's got more paint than any of them really you got all that yellow or kind of gold paint right there and you got the little septicon symbol a bunch of stickers right here and right there on his arms and then the back so you've seen these guys frenzy rumble whichever one you want to call them but he's called frenzy in this one so yeah not much to them there you go all right here they are combined i might have called them decimal it's decibel sorry with a b I apologize that but here they are combined and man they are fugly <laughs> So he does got some nice silver paint for a box, you know, he's a kind of a robot. Uh, arms move up and down. Uh, legs can swivel right there. That's about it and go in and out like that. So you can do the splits and everything and the toes will go up and down. So that's the problem right there. The head is not strong enough right here to, I mean, it will hold it in, you know, fine, I guess. But if you start manipulating everything, try to move it, it will start falling back. And it is back heavy with these guns. So you don't have to have the guns on there if you don't want it, but it is real back heavy and that little bird head is not that strong enough to uh, hold it. You know, I mean, it will hold it. Sorry, it, it is, you know, it is strong enough to hold it, but if you start messing around with it, it will fall back and everything. So, but it'll hold tight right now. You just, you know, display it like that. So there is a decibel in combined mode. There he is real quick with a Grand Slam and Squat Box, the other combiners. All right, there is the other combiner. Like I said, this is the clear one that came with the Bumblebee 2-pack. Uh, it's Dial and Saru, uh, Zar, I think. They call it, they combine uh, Leg Out is what his name is. So there they are. Man, those are fugly. <laughs> but yeah, they're pretty cool they combine. You know, it's another option for you. All right, there he is with some other tapes. You got the, that's the G1 right there. That's another reissue of Frenzy. You got that one, then I put the other two uh, Dino bots in or Dino cassettes. You got Slugfest and Overkill, and you got the MMC one back there, the third party. So, pretty cool. Oh, the uh, clear one also from Soundwave from uh, the Year of the Horse or something, or Year of the Chicken. I don't know, some year. All right, there are some tapes I have also. I just thought I'd throw that in. And here's just a quick scale of some legend figures next to them, some new age. So you get the gist of uh, what their scale is. Crapagonics, Lip Bomb, Carmex, and Squeaks doll. So let's talk about Graph, Noise, and uh, Decepticon Frenzy. Really cool. I mean, if you're a G1 collector and you like the nostalgia, definitely pick these up. They're nothing to ride home about on, you know, as, as far as articulation or, you know, paint or any of that stuff. The stickers are kind of meh, everything. The combined mode is meh also. It's ugly as sin. But if you like that, hey, you win. That's all that matters. So it gives you an option, and options are always good in Transformers. With Frenzy, I, you know, I wish they would have put in Overkill or Slugfest maybe. That would have been cool. They don't get reissued very often. You know, we're getting the Walmart ones for Frenzy and Rumble and everything and Ravage and Laser Big. They always get reissued. So I kind of wish they would through those uh, either Slugfest or Overkill in them, but eh, whatever. Um, I do love the packaging. I, I was kind of hesitant to open it because I really, you know, really look really nice. I may order another one. It's $35. So like I said, if you can't get the original ones, which can go up to five, $600, Get these. They're really cool. You know, they're like just nostalgia. Nothing to write home about on the other stuff. Um, so the stickers are, like I said, kind of meh. Everything. You got chrome weapons, and that's always cool. I love chrome weapons. I love the shiny stuff and everything. It's like, ooh, shiny stuff. So yeah, very cool on these. I'm glad I got them. You know, like I said, I would never have a chance to order the other ones. So if definitely, if you want to get the, you know, uh, some Dino cassettes, definitely reach out and get these and everything. All right, well, I'm get on the floor. I'm gonna do some floor time. Won't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. All right, well, these are pretty awesome. I like the nostalgia of the G1 stuff. I love getting new G1 stuff. When I go to TFCon, I always try to pick up something G1. 
Um, especially pretenders. I'm trying to complete the pretenders, but some of them are hard to find. But I love getting tapes. Who loves tapes? Do y'all like tapes? But man, I don't know what they're thinking with those combined modes. Yeesh. They were they're not that good. Now you get frenzy. Yeah. I really wish they would have gave somebody else, but eh, it's all right. You can never have enough frenzies, I guess. Ain't that right? Alpha Bravo, would you be a tape? Yeah, I would. They would call me uh, Stegosaurus or uh, Flappagonus something, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Oh, no, we got dinos. All right. We got some people like me. How y'all doing? What's up, Skylinks Chicken? Caca! Caca! Yeah! Pew, 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 pew! Alright! You're not hurting me because you can't hurt me. I am too awesome. Chicken, let's ride. Alright, get on, Birdie. Get on, Giraffe, whatever your name is. Get on, Noise. <laughs> oh, yeah. You didn't last. And I'll put you in my mouth. Come on. Alright, well, that was my review of these uh, reissue of the Dino Cassettes. Noise and Graffy and Frenzy. He's got a red dot on his head. Hmm. You don't have that on normally. Oh well. Alright, I hope you liked my review. Go down and hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me. It really helps out the channel. appreciate that. And I guess I'll, I'll hit me up with some comments. Are y'all getting these? Are y'all looking forward to uh, ordering from the Pulse and getting these little dino cassettes? Yeah, hit me up in the, uh, in the comments. Tell me what you think of these and uh, what you thought of the review and everything. All right, so I guess I'll see you now on the next uh, reissue dino cassettes. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro and good night, folks. Call, call. Hail to the Redskins.